one cheap submarine from Sweden sank the US Navy in battle. How was the Gotland able to evade the Reagan's elaborate anti-submarine defenses involving multiple ships and aircraft employing a multitude of sensors? And even more importantly, how was a relatively cheap submarine costing around $100 million roughly the cost of a single F-35 stealth fighter today able to accomplish that? In 2005, USS Ronald Reagan, a newly constructed $6.2 billion dollar aircraft carrier, sank after being hit by multiple torpedoes. Fortunately, this did not occur in actual combat, but was simulated as part of a war game pitting a carrier task force including numerous anti-submarine escorts against HSMS Gotland, a small Swedish diesel-powered submarine displacing 1,600 tons. Yet despite making multiple attacks runs on the Reagan, the Gotland was never detected. This outcome was replicated time and time again over two years of war games, with opposing destroyers and nuclear attack submarines succumbing to the stealthy Swedish sub. Naval analyst Norman Palmer said the Gotland ran rings around the American Carrier Task Force. Another source claimed US anti-submarine specialists were demoralized by the experience. How was the Gotland able to evade the Reagan's elaborate anti-submarine defenses involving multiple ships and aircraft employing a multitude of sensors? And even more importantly, how was a relatively cheap submarine costing around $100 million roughly the cost of a single F-35 stealth fighter today able to accomplish that? After all, the US Navy decommissioned its last diesel submarine in 1990. Diesel submarines in the past were limited by the need to operate noisy, air-consuming engines that meant they could remain underwater for only a few days before needing to surface. Naturally, a submarine is most vulnerable, and can be most easily tracked, when surfaced, even when using a snorkel. Submarines powered by nuclear reactors, on the other hand, do not require large air supplies to operate, and can run much more quietly for months at a time underwater and they can swim faster while at it. However, the 200-foot-long Swedish Gotland-class submarines, introduced in 1996, were the first to employ an air-independent propulsion I system in this case, the Stirling engine. A Stirling engine charges the submarine's 75 kilowatt battery using liquid oxygen. With the Stirling, a Gotland-class submarine can remain undersea for up to two weeks sustaining an average speed of 6 miles per hour or it can expend its battery power to surge up to 23 miles per hour. A conventional diesel engine is used for operation on the surface or while employing the snorkel. The Stirling powered Gotland runs more quietly than even a nuclear powered sub, which must employ noise producing coolant pumps in their reactors. The Gotland class does possess many other features that make it adept at evading detection. It mounts 27 electromagnets designed to counteract its magnetic signature to magnetic anomaly detectors. Its hull benefits from sonar-resistant coatings, while the tower is made of radar-absorbent materials. Machinery on the interior is coated with rubber acoustic deadening buffers to minimize detectability by sonar. The Gotland is also exceedingly maneuverable thanks to the combined six maneuvering surfaces on its X-shaped rudder and sail, allowing it to operate close to the seafloor and pull off tight turns. Because the stealthy boat proved the ultimate challenge to US anti-submarine ships in international exercises, the US Navy leased the Gotland and its crew for two entire years to conduct anti-submarine exercises. 
the results convinced the US Navy its undersea sensors simply were not up to dealing with the stealthy I boats. However, the Gotland was merely the first of many I powered submarine designs, some with twice the underwater endurance. And Sweden is by no means the only country to be fielding them. China has two diesel submarine types using Stirling engines. Fifteen of the earlier Type 039 AUN class have been built in four different variants, with more than 20 more planned or already under construction. Beijing also has a single Type 032 Qing class vessel that can remain underwater for 30 days. It believed to be the largest operational diesel submarine in the world, and boasts seven vertical launch system cells capable of firing off cruise missiles and ballistic missiles.